But for me and you now to maintain eternal life, we must take light and speak it because of the spiritual law of what you sow is what you reap. Is everybody with me? What you sow is what you reap. So you cannot get light until you sow. Hello? Even when you accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you had to do something. Repent. You had to sow. Then you had to accept and confess him as Savior. The seed of God came in. The seed of light. From that point on, the Holy Spirit was trying, uh, wooing you and trying to get us in position so that we would begin to sow more, sow more, sow more, and then get filled with his Spirit and be baptized with fire and the Spirit. Is everybody okay? Go to Matthew 15. The eternal diet. Matthew 15. In verse 1, it says, The scribes and the Pharisees who were from Jerusalem came to Jesus, saying, Why do your disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they do not wash their hands when they eat bread. And he answered and said to them, Why do you also transgress the commandment of God? Because of your tradition. For God commanded, saying, Honor your father and your mother, and you will curse his father or mother, let him be put to death. But you say, whoever says to his father or mother, whatever profit you might have, receive from me as a gift of, to God. Then he need not honor his father or mother. Thus you have made the commandment of God no effect by your tradition. Called them hypocrites. Well did Isaiah prophesy about you, saying, these people draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. And in vain they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. So in true reality, they were not feeding light. They were feeding darkness because of traditions of men. So they were men pleasers instead of God pleasers. So they were not being obedient to what God had asked them to do. And by not following that, they did not pass it on. In verse 10. When he had called the multitude to himself, he said to them, hear and understand. Hear and understand. Not what goes into the mouth defiles a man. In other words, not what you're physically eating. Does everybody got it? But what comes out of the mouth, this defiles a man. How can that defile a man? Because a man speaks darkness, he reaps it. And it defiles him. So a person that's grumbling and complaining and all kinds of other things, they're actually speaking darkness. And they're reaping it, and they're, they're getting the light that is now shining in them is being sold for darkness. They're actually now taking in death. Has everybody got it? They're exchanging Life for death. Defiles a man what comes out of his mouth, light or darkness. What he eats more of, like junk food, will either bring healing or sickness. There is healthy food. There is an eternal diet or a temporary diet. There is light and darkness. Is everybody with me? As a man eats, so he is. In other words, because how does he eat? We do not eat by just something comes. We eat by what we sow. So you must first sow it. When you sow it, it comes back and you've eaten it. That's how it happens in the spirit realm. In the physical realm, you just eat it. In the spiritual realm, you must speak it. Because if you've spoken it, you agreed it. 
If you've agreed with it already, now the devil knows you're going to speak it. He can entice you to speak it. He can trick you to speak it. Now once you spoke it, you ate it. Is everybody okay? 2 Corinthians 11. That's why many people bring stuff on their own selves. Second Corinthians 11. In verse 1. Oh, that you would bear with me a little folly, and indeed you do bear with me. For I am zealous for you with godly, I am jealous for you with godly jealously. For I have betrothed you to one husband that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I fear lest somehow as the serpent deceived Eve by his craftiness, so your minds may be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. In other words, as the serpent deceived Eve. Why? Because the fruit looked either identical or better. Has everybody got it? That's how he deceives people. He, he paints the evil fruit. He puts corruptible and deadly seed in a fruit that's the imitation of God's. That's why so many people eat something. They fall into play in areas that's partial truth. And they take, on, take it in, and then they confess it, not even realizing that they agreed with a lie. Did you ever hear of New Age? Well, New Age takes partial truth. They take a sentence out of a book, one sentence that might be truth, and the rest of it is all lies. But because that one sentence seemed truth, it seemed like the whole book must be okay. But the rest of the book was lies. Now they begin to speak these things that they read because they agreed with it. Now they're sowing death because they're reaping death. And not only that, they're passing corruptible seeds to other people that they begin, begin to agree with it. They begin to speak it. Now they're dying too. And it goes on. Hallelujah. Let's go to verse... Um, 13 or 12. But what I do, I will also continue to do that I may cut off the opportunity from those who desire an opportunity to be regarded just as we are in the things of which they boast. For such are false prophets or apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves in the apostles of Christ. And no wonder for Satan himself transforms himself into a what? Angel of light. That's why many people get visitations from familiar spirits. They're still speaking to the dead. They think it's okay to go to mediums. Think it's okay to uh, read tarot cards. They think, what are they doing? Why? Because in these things, people think, well, they're hearing from God. But in true reality, it's, it's a fruit that may look like something from God. But it's actually a fruit of death painted as a picture of something good. For even Satan himself comes as an angel of light to fool, to trick, to deceive, and to kill. That's his purpose. He's come to steal, kill, and destroy. And he will do it with things that have a form of godliness. But it's not God. And a person will eat it, agree, speak it. They sow. Now they've reaped. And now light has been exchanged for death. I'm telling you, the reason why the Spirit is giving us this tonight is because we must be more discerning of these things because 
there are many who are going to die before time, and there are many who are going to fall because they're going to think that something else is godly because it is a form of godliness, but it's not God. Is everybody all right? Angel of light, fruit or food that looks like light and truth because it was coated with some, some truth, but inside was a corruptible seeds of death. Many believe are eating false doctrines. There are many who are eating false doctrines now. It's happening all over. There are many places who have a form of godliness, promotion, voting for um, uh, politicians that are promoting uh, abortions and all this other stuff. Why? Because they are eating from the angel of death known as Satan, but he's coming as an angel of light. And the Bible even says, and therefore it is no great thing that his ministers are also transformed themselves into ministers of righteousness whose end will be according to their works. So there are many ministers out there that are, have a form of righteousness, but they're out for their own gain. But that's why the Bible tells us that we're to know them by their fruit, because what they eat will produce whatever fruit they're eating. If there's pride, if there's arrogance, if there's all kinds of stuff, you know that person ain't eating the right fruit. If there's fornication, if there's lying and cheating, if there's not a humble state, that person is not eating the fruit of God. He's eating a deceptive form of godliness that's producing death in themselves. And as they speak it, they're planting corruptible seeds in others. 1 Timothy chapter 4. And some of these people, I'm not telling you that they don't love God. They love God, but they're still eating a false doctrine. Hello? First Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1, would you read it with me? Now the Spirit expressly says that in the latter times some will depart from the what? Faith. So does that mean they were saved? Yeah. It's amazing how many people say, well, then they weren't saved from the beginning. Giving heed to what? Deceiving spirits and what? Doctrines of what? Demons. Why? Because they have a form of godliness that these people are eating. And they're, what they're doing is they're agreeing and they're taking and they sow it and then they eat it. Has everybody got it? And now it's producing fruit and it's also sowing corruptible seed. In Psalm 97. Glory. Psalm 97. Psalm 97, in verse 10, it says, You who love the Lord hate evil. It's amazing how so many people are still petting evil. They're still petting evil. That's why Jesus called Judas friend. He didn't call him brother. Jesus said, My brothers and sisters are the ones who do the will of God. Everyone else is a friend. So when Judas came to him, he said, what's up, friend? He was not brother. Because he knew Judas ate of the wrong tree. And many people are still eating of the wrong tree. And so they think that they're good because they're eating this fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But they think they're good. Well, I'm a good person. I, I mean, I, I don't bother nobody. 